Hi, I'm Noah. I'm a stay-at-home dad with twins. You know, every once in a while, uh, I'll look, and one of them will have a little scratch on his face or his arm, and I don't know where it came from, and I, I wonder where did that come from, and I think, I think they might have a baby fight club. And of course, the first rule of baby fight club is don't baby talk about baby fight club. So, um, after all of the uh, work that went into doing a baby news segment two weeks ago, sorry, I didn't do one last week, um, what, uh, I, I want to do just sort of a, a off-the-top one talking about uh, a big part of our lives that just came to an end recently. See, uh, I mentioned this briefly in another video, um, but uh, starting in January and ending just last week, um, the boys were attending a class. Um, over at the Burbank Adult School. Class, you say? The babies were taking a class? Well, technically, I was taking the class. It was a parenting class. And to be honest with you, it was more like a playgroup than a class, because it was a big classroom full of toys, and, um, and we would go, and the kids would play with toys, and the parents would talk about parenting issues. Then halfway through class, we would break into two sections, and uh, half of us would go to another room uh, without the babies and talk about whatever the topic of discussion was for that week. Uh, more formally than the sort of casual, hey, what's going on with you guys right now, discussion we have in the main playroom. And every week, one of us would bring a snack, and uh, it, was, it was a very nice class. Now, when I signed up for this, I assumed that it was going to be a more traditional class, that I would go in with the boys, and hopefully they would sleep through the whole class while I sat and took notes, sitting in a classroom, you know, being lectured at by a teacher. And of course, it wasn't that, and I'm very glad it wasn't that, because that would not have been much fun. But as it was, it was really, really fun. And now you might ask, were there other stay-at-home dads in this class? Uh, no, it was me and a bunch of moms. Which was to be expected, um, and was very cool. They were all really nice, uh, nice people, and I really enjoyed talking with them. And they all had very cute babies. Jumpy doo, jumpy doo, jump, jump, jumpy doo. And I did make an offer to them that if there's any time they wanted to talk about, you know, women-specific issues that maybe they didn't feel comfortable having me around for, I would happily leave the room with the boys. Uh, but that never came up. They always seemed uh, perfectly happy to have me there. I was also the only one with twins, which is, you know, I, I suppose that's surprising, but there wasn't that big a class, so it wasn't really. And the boys really liked it. They, uh, they enjoyed having a bunch of new toys to put in their mouths. Um, eventually, they enjoyed interacting with the other children, though at first, when they were only about uh, uh, six months old, they didn't really care. And it was very cool seeing other children growing and learning and changing, as my guys, guys were uh, growing and learning and changing. Maybe I can have a kiss? Thank you. Because, of course, the class went from January, when the guys were six months, to May, when they were ten months. And that's a lot of changes. When I first went to the class, they weren't sitting up by themselves. Um, but by the end of it, they were crawling and standing up and cruising, and they had teeth. Uh, they were essentially much more dangerous by the end of class than they were at the beginning of class. And of course, there's a wide range of ages of the babies. Uh, one of them turned one during the semester, and uh, whereas one of them turned only six months during the semester. Uh, so we got to see a lot of different perspectives, and uh, those of us who had been there, you know, been through the six-month part, had some advice for the ones who were going through it then. Uh, whereas those those of us who were further ahead than say me were able to give me some advice. One of the really great things about a situation like this is that you get to see how other people are dealing with the same sorts of issues or wholly different issues than the ones that you're dealing with. And you see that everybody finds a way to make it work, which is really what it's all about when you have really tiny babies. Some parents are more strict about diet or what their kids are allowed to do than I am, and some are way less strict. Some are a lot more laissez-faire. And you know what? That's great. It's great to see that these babies, who operate under different rules than mine, are doing just fine. They're not falling apart. They're not, you know, they don't have patchy hair and boils. It's really okay. So, yeah, it was probably more like a playgroup, ultimately, because it was really about letting the babies have a chance to play around with new toys and interact with other babies. But it was a class, and I learned a great deal from it. And I'll be happy to go back to the next part of it in the fall. But for now, here's a little montage of some photos of the class and uh, some of their classmates, and uh, you might even see me in there once or twice.
So what I'm saying is, if you have a chance to take a class like this, I highly recommend it, if only for a chance to get out of the house. Right, boys? That's right. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.